Hey YouTube, it's Keys, and um, today I'm finally going to do the tutorial on how I do my braid out, which was seen in my Alpha of the Day video and my Quick K video. Um, so yeah, first and foremost, I want to start off with, as you guys can see, my hair is semi curl. I tried to do a flexi rod, and it was a big fail. Um, I'll post pictures about how it came out, um, and I don't like it. So I have to do like this quick side ponytail just to make it work but um i use four different size flexi rods i put the yellow ones in the front of my bang um the blue ones were like in the middle the red ones were like in the upper part the upper part and then i put the orange ones which was the biggest in the back to make looser ones so i won't get that much shrinkage and i just had did like random sections and put my hair in like the rods or whatever and um this is the style i had got and i'm really it was really really i guess the curls fell even more though but i don't like it i'm really sad because i thought it was gonna be cute because i was watching youtube videos on like natural um natural hair flexi like flexi rise or whatever they're called and they were cute, and mine came out all flat. But I think what, what, why mine came out flat is because um, my hair was um, still flat ironed. Ooh, just. My hair was still flat ironed, and um, my hair was really, really oily. Um, so maybe that's why it came out flat. But, and I'm in my kitchen again, because this seems to be the best, where you guys can see more color. It's not so dark. But yeah, I need to put my glasses on. Okay, so to do the braid out, let me come closer, closer. <laughs> um, actually, I'm gonna put on a different shirt so I could be moving. Okay, so even though I just said that I was going to do the tutorial on me, but um, I recorded a tutorial yesterday and it was a big old fail. So, and I had actually the style, obviously, and it didn't really come out that good anyways. So, um, since I'll be getting the install soon, I don't want to redo it, especially since my hair is already done. I'm just going to use my younger sister to... Um, show you guys how I do my summer braid out look and um yeah and also all you'll need is the eco styler olive oil gel um the shea moisture or any type of holding um holding stuff or curl definer I like this one um a comb a water bottle and some scrunchies for the ends if you have straight ends but yeah Okay, so this is my younger sister, KJ. So, okay, so let's do her hair. Okay, so firstly, you want to start off with freshly, or not freshly pressed, but like an old press or fat iron because it's better so you won't get that much shrinkage in your hair. That's what, Well, that's what I like to do. I like to do it on like an old flat iron or whatever. Um, KJ or here, her hair was um already flat ironed like it was flat ironed like two three weeks ago, and her hair was extremely sweated out as you guys can see. That's why I like her, her roots look really thick and her ends look really thin. Once it really is not just her hair was really really sweated out. But um after you get the hair combed out and stuff, you use the shade. What I like to do is use the shade moisture. Uh, well, I part the hair first, and then of course um I dampen it. Don't get it soaking wet, but just damp. And then use the shea moisture. Um, for, yeah, put the shea moisture on the hair. And then um, I follow that with the Eco Styler olive oil gel. And then, of course, section off the parts. Um, then after that, um, usually the first one I do is a French braid. Um, that one, um, I try to do a small, a smaller braid. Um, Kaja, she didn't want, she didn't want really the fine to fine curls, but she wanted like a wave. So that's why I'm doing her sections a little bit bigger than what I normally would do for me. Um, so the first one I do is a French braid, as you can see. I hope my voice is, this is my first time doing voiceover. So I'm hoping that my voice is matching what 
what the video is doing. I don't know how to edit that good yet. So hopefully this works out. Yeah. <laughs> so French braid that. And then the next one I'm going to do is, um, the next one I'm going to do is a flat twist. A, now what a flat twist is, is just um, a single, when you, it's like if you're two strand twisting. So when you two strand twist, um, when you two strand twist, just do it flat as if you're doing a French braid and do that all the way back. So that's the next one. And then, okay. So the next thing I did was ask her which side does she normally wear her bang on because that's the part you're going to section off because the bang braids will start going, which are what you do the bang on. But that's why I had did that before. I, I asked her before I started the the two strand twist, which side does she do her, what side does she does her bang on um, because that's the side. I don't need that side. Okay, so now starting for the bang. For the bang, the first one I well, you generally on my hair the first braid, the first braid, um, the first one I do is as a, is a French braid, and all you're doing is basically braiding the perimeter of that of that bang. So the first one I do the same thing when I dampen the hair. I do that with all the pieces, dampen the hair of course, all pieces, and then I go in next with either the Eco Starter Olive Oil Gel or um, go in with the the curl the curl milk and then follow that with the eco star olive oil gel and um i just do that the first one as a, a french braid but on her hair i did the first one as a flat twist and then the second part of the bang i did a french braid then now after doing the bang you want to do the back generally it's like a little bit not like a little bit but um depending on how big you make them that will determine how your back is um what you do next then what I usually do is just um, switch off. So since I did the first part of her bang a twist and then the second part was a braid, the first part in the back I'll do a flat twist. And then after that I'll do a braid. And then after that I'll do a flat twist. Um, so just filling your, your, your space in the back um, alternating between flat twists and braids. Now the reason I do alternating is because... Um, when you do a braid, the French braid is more of a wave, and then the flat twist is more of a curl. And I like the way that it looks so that the curls won't just be locking together. It'll be, I don't know, just wild. Not wild, but doesn't look similar. Just untamed and not the same pattern. And that's why I like to do various sizes and things like that. Um, I really hope I probably will never do a voiceover ever again because I don't think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but, yeah. So, just twist, just, all I'm doing is flat twist and fringe braiding, and it's pretty simple, I mean, just, a, I can't really fringe braid on other people's hair, I don't, it's weird because on my roommate hair I can fringe braid her hair, but, I don't know, maybe because my sister hair is so thick, but, if you're a good fringe braider, it'll come out, your curls will come out even more defined and even better, and, um, I just took down her edges, of course, because they were just too nappy. Not nappy, but, you know, they were sweated out, so that'll get fixed. And I guess I'll provide pictures at the end of how it came out. And, um, yeah, so also um, I want to say that the smaller sections you do, the more smaller your curl will be or your wave will be, and the bigger section you do, the looser it will be. So, like I said, she wanted, like, a looser look. Unlike me, I like tight, not tight, tight, but I like tight, defined, defined. But, so I did her like sections a little bit bigger. And then I also provide pictures of my pattern as well about the exact look. The picture I provide is um, the exact, how I did mine is exactly after the Alpha of Day video. Because I took pictures after I um, put my hair up. And that's just how I do it. 
and to upkeep all I do is just French braid and I just do the style all over again every night um, or sometimes I'll just if I'm really lazy just do two French braids really big ones so yeah I hope you guys enjoy it okay hopefully this video works out anyways so i did the back off camera all i did was um put your look here as you can see i did two little bantu knots on the bottom that's just because if you have straight ends you want the um you don't want your ends to be straight so put a little bantu knot to make the ends curl curl up and I cannot French braid for anything. It works better on my hair. I guess I don't know how to do people. But, um, yeah. hopefully you guys can see. I just did two, um, alternating things. I did a twist first in the bang, and then I did a French braid. And then in the back, it alternates between French braid twist, French braid twist. And, um, usually I do six, usually I have six in my hair. She has, one, two, three, four seven in her head so it's uh, so fat you know it's so hey turn around so yeah it's alternating and all that and there's not no like part parts because when you take it down regally watch out okay so when you take it uh oh so because when you take it down the um there shouldn't be any parts in here anyways so Hopefully this video works out and it's okay. And I'm just sweating beyond belief. It's so hot here. But I'll provide pictures of how it came out. Please continue to subscribe, comment, and read. And yeah, I'll show pictures of how it comes out. Bye guys. Huh? <laughs>